What's up, YouTube? Welcome or oh, welcome back to the Saving Men's Lives Network. Today, fellas, I want to talk to you guys about one of the scams going on in the nightclub scene, in the bar scene, especially for you guys who hit the clubs a lot. And even for you young guys who aren't yet old enough to drink, I wanted to put you all up on game so that when the time comes and you are able to go out with your friends for a drink or two that you don't get taken advantage of. See, what a lot of guys think incorrectly is that buying a woman a drink is going to increase her attraction for him. That buying her a drink is going to secure him a spot to hook up with her later. And nothing could be further from the truth. You see... The reality of it is, fellas, since it's up to us to bring the tangibles to a relationship or interaction, you know, things like, because think about the questions women love to ask. What do you do for a living? Where do you live? What kind of car do you drive? These are all things that are indicative of your economic position and therefore what you can do for her, how her life benefits by having you in it. They don't ask you questions that show what they might be bringing to you outside of what you can look at in that tight dress that she's wearing, right? So what you ought to ask yourself is because you're the one bringing the tangibles, things you can pick up, things you can quantify, things you can calculate, things you can measure. This relationship is why isn't she buying you a drink when she's a depreciating asset here? That's a side note more than anything else. You got to stop trying to buy a woman's time, fellas, unless you are physically in Las Vegas or physically in Amsterdam's red light district. Stop trying to buy a woman's time. I said what I said. You have to understand your value, fellas. Do you guys know that some women leave the house on purpose with no money? specifically to be drink 304s story time when i was back in the navy there was a girl i was kind of cool with we weren't friends for real but we were cool we worked together and i overheard her talking one day talking to her friends who i mean they were all pretty decent looking no, no, none of them baddies but they were all decent looking decent enough where you wouldn't be embarrassed if people found out that you did something with them all right so we're talking i think her best looking friend might have been a seven an eight and a half with her makeup on Right. I overheard them talking one day and they had a game they were going to play that night. They were all going to go out to the club. The game was this. They were all going to leave without any money. They were all going to go and they were going to try to go through as many guys in that place. Actually, my fault. They planned to bar hop. So it was going to be a few different places they were going to go. So they, they were going to try to go to as many different bars they could while they were still sober enough to figure out what the fuck was going on and then they were going to try to get as many guys to buy them drinks as possible the <laughs> god man I hate to even repeat this fucking story but the point was none of them were going to get laid that night and that was the agreement whoever got laid that night no matter how many drinks she, she scammed guys into buying her lost so the whole point was to scam guys out of drinks, make them think that something was going to happen and nothing ever did. Now, she never knew I overheard this conversation. She never saw me. I was, I was around a corner. I was about to cut the corner until I heard them talking. And when I heard this, that was a serious, serious red pill for me. Like, wow, man, this girl who I thought was cool and her friends who I never had no problem with. When guys went around and they were talking amongst themselves comfortably, they expose themselves to be nothing but leeches, parasites. Now, listen, I understand a woman doesn't have to give up. Nothing she don't want to give up. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. But what I'm not cool with is leading a guy on. Multiple guys in this case, leading these guys on to make them think there was a possibility where the preordained purpose was to make sure they didn't. I'm not cool with that. Because women on the flip side would be very, very upset if they met a guy driving a Lambo to a beach house 
and she let him smash night one because she was so impressed with the presentation only to find out that both the Lambo and the beach house was his older brothers. She be pissed. She say she was manipulated. She say she was tricked out of the punani. Not cool, fellas. Not cool. I cut all ties with her from that point on. And she said I was acting funny, but I never even talked to her again because knowing what her real character was, I didn't want to get none of it on me. The bottom line, fellas, is this. If a woman is going to buy you a drink and you buy her one in return after she pays one for you, that's a little different. This is a woman who's at least showing some interest for real. She's at least showing some level of investment in you. That might be something worth looking into. But if she's coming out and she's made it her point to leave out the house with no money, specifically to scam guys, I don't want you to be one of them. Let her know, hey, listen, I don't buy girls drinks unless I'm knowing how this is all going to play out. If they shame you, let them shame you. Tell her go on a route. There's plenty of simps in here who will take care of you in that regard, but not me. All right. Quick one today, fellas. I just I just thought about that. Just, I don't even know what brought that memory back into my head. I'm a civilian now, so I don't even know what brought that up. But um, you know, be be safe out here, fellas. Be careful because these women have a plan. There is a goal, and I do not want you to be chewed up and spat out like old gum. While she laughs all the way to the parking lot with her girlfriends, or even worse. You buy her two or three or four or five drinks and then some other dude who didn't buy her nothing takes her by the hand and they go out to his car and they drive back to his place. She got 50 bucks worth of your liquor in her in her liver and now she got about six or seven or eight or nine inches of his long strong up near her bladder. Don't let it be you. That said, that's my time, fellas. Like the video? Leave me a comment down below if you've been on the receiving end of this scam. Help somebody out in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Never let your brother suffer in silence when the truth can set him free. Network as we working. Till next time.